Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharallah. Call Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Haraka Kodash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the work. Shall keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Job, chapter 15, and verse 34 says, For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. All right, the end result of the daughter of Babylon will be fire, death, and destruction. Because of all the things that they've done <clears throat> on this earth, you reap what you sow. All right? And these devils have sowed so much wickedness, so much death, so much destruction on this planet and they did it with them with the mindset of they'll never be touched. Right? That's a lot one second. Alright, so this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse eleven. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right, so this devil has been sowing all this wickedness in this world and thinking that ain't nothing coming behind it. And the real, the, the most high real life got them, got them in the trick bag, right? So speaking of some of this wickedness that this devil has pushed out in this earth, matter of fact, let me go to the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, and. Verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This devil been trying to replace the Most High and the Most High's people. It says the Most High allowed them to run this earth. According to Job 9.24. Alright. And the ultimate. Seal. Of this devil. Controlling this earth. At, in, the, in the seat of the most high. Is this devil. Inserting his technology. Into man. Because in essence. What, what is happening is. He's overriding. The spirit in that person. Through the technology. All right, the devil been experimenting on this for the longest, All right? And you best believe that what we're seeing today was a part of that experimentation. What makes us tick? What inside of us draws us closer to spiritual things and this thing that he can't understand because it ain't in him. It never was in him, All right? And you can read Genesis chapter 25 and see that. Right, so he always been trying to pinpoint where our spirit is. And I believe the most high gave them that information. Right? So they know what they need to do in order to separate man from the most high. Right? Revelation 13, Revelation 14. But anyway, this is an article in Zero Hedge. Entitled WEF to accelerate push for metaverse surveillance network at Davos 2023. Right? It says during its 2023 Davos conference, right, which is another gathering of higher up individuals discussing things that um will take place on this earth. It says the World Economic Forum will host a press conference on its Building the Metaverse initiative and release key studies and details about its efforts to further facilitate what appears to amount to a global surveillance network. All right? Global. It ain't just about the daughter of Babylon. It's not just about Gog and Magog. Not just about Asia. But global, right? It says, according to documents reviewed by the Doja, 
says the metaverse a buzzworthy bumper sticker slogan that refers to a whole host of ideas in the technology space right that's the devil's new sword right sword don't always mean the actual blade made of steel or gold or whatever the metal is and sharpened you know on edge or edges and to a point it's not always that right the devil sword can be um I said technology, science, right, um, psychology, so forth and so on. Anything that damages you, cuts you asunder, right? But anyway, it says, the metaverse a buzzworthy bumper sticker slogan that refers to a whole host of ideas in the technology space has potential current and future applications both for private and governmental entities it will be featured as one of the core staples of the 2023 davos Con conference All right 2023 man says what is the metaverse exactly the term metaverse was invented by author neil stephenson in his 1992 sci-fi novel snow crash in which citizens used digital avatars as a means to escape their dystopian reality. Now, you think they came up with that on the fly with Facebook? Nah, it was all for a purpose. And this is the purpose, right? It says today it can be defined as a vision of what many in the computer industry believe is the next iteration of the internet, right? A single shared immersive persistent 3d virtual space where humans experience life in ways they could not in the physical world right before its expanded definition the metaverse encompassed a technological slot a technologically advancing virtual and augmented reality space All right i thought they introduced the 3d glasses for nothing right then they pushing it on on, on social media for nothing, no. It, it, these things have been normal, normalized. So they can introduce higher grades of the things that you are already seeing. Right? The promise of a better life. Things that you can't do in the physical world, you'll be able to do it in the metaverse. Right? It says, to entrepreneurs and technology companies, this computer world can serve as a potential revenue and data harvesting stream. Data harvesting stream. All right? So they're appealing to everybody. <laughs> Businessmen and consumer alike. All right? It says, for the committed forces of technocratic ty uh, tyranny, the metaverse can act as a global surveillance network that can keep tabs on anyone with an internet connection. Right? A metaverse adopting society can make it much easier for ruling governments to track the movement, behaviors, and activities of its citizens. That's what Revelation 13 is all about. The total conquering of you. Total control over you. Right? This devil is real life trying to play God. Real life trying to play the most high. Right? It says, for the World Economic Forum, the narrative and ideas shop of the ruling class, the latter applications are more aligned with their feudalistic ambitions. The WEF, or World Economic Forum, is the chief coalition builder for what amounts to the modern depopulation movement. Over the years, they've partnered with big tech central bankers, governmental, and international organizations to facilitate their feudalistic vision for the future, right? Which involves deliberately rolling back human progress. Did you hear that? Deliberately rolling back human progress, right? Innovation and flourishing under the guise of saving the planet from a climate emergency. 
And I said, all they, got, all they had to do is push a narrative out to the world. And the narrative ain't going to do nothing but repeat it like a parrot. Not really knowing what the hell they talking about because they don't research nothing. They don't look into nothing. They just listen to celebrities or whoever it is they push on your TV screen. They tell you this is what it is and this is not what it's not. Right? It says, while various WEF partners have different motives for joining the ruling class alliance, they all have an incentive to cater to the WEF's most prized climate hoax narratives. All right? It says, the WEF Metaverse press conference event description reads, this press conference will announce the first and long-awaited outputs of the defining and building the Metaverse Initiative, highly anticipated briefing papers on interoperable, interoperability right, in the Metaverse from the governance track of the project and demystifying the consumer Metaverse from the value creation track. Right. So basically, to take away all of the mystery behind what the Metaverse is, because a lot of people hear Metaverse and just go to Facebook. But the metaverse is so much deeper than damn Facebook. Facebook was something to to basically gather intelligence. That's what we just read further up in this article. Facebook and social media in itself is to gather intelligence. Data information is now worth currency. Who has the most information on data? On the planet, it's China. China been on it. Why else do you think they trying to ban TikTok? Right? It's all about information, man. And they can sell your information. We just read that in this article. Right? It says, let me see. These two briefing papers, the first in each work streams series, will serve as the foremost publications involved in this amount of research. This number of stakeholders from diverse industries, 120 plus partners are involved in this initiative into these topics. Says the WEF will also host an event at Davos 2023 titled Deployment in the Industrial Metaverse. Panelists will discuss how the next era of the Internet is fast approaching in the form of the metaverse an immersive, interoperable and synchronous. Right. Synchronous. a lot. Digital world. So the Internet that we see now. This is old. It's just like this is technology. That's what I be trying to tell people, man. Technology changes ever so often, right? And it gets more and more and more advanced. When I say technology, I'm not just talking about electronics, man. I'm not just talking about a tablet or a phone. I'm talking about everything that engulfs technology, hardware and software, right? And it's, it's moving to the point to where you are going to be the hardware and they will download software into you. They already said that, man. I believe it was Nokia, Nokia's uh, CEO at a World Economic Forum conference that they had a couple years ago. You're going to be the new cell phone. Somebody asked the question, well, we've been, we've had this cell phone, you know, the smartphone for so long, and when is the new advancement coming? And he said out his own mouth, you are going to be the next cell phone. Meaning they're going to put technology inside of you. <laughs> he didn't say maybe. He said this is what it's going to be. Just like this is saying. It's not a maybe. This is what it's going to be. Right? It says in the, in the industrial metaverse. Unique opportunities will arise. From the convergence of artificial intelligence. Digital twins. Data. And robotic technologies. The readout continues. The Doja reviewed a list of the listed partners to the World Economic Forum's Metaverse Initiative. Let's put them two words together and just let that sink in for a minute. 
the World Economic Forums, one, Metaverse Initiative, two. <laughs> right? Those of us that's in the know, man, that, 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 yeah, bells are ringing off right now. Bells of alarm. Right? So it says they include corporate actors like Meta, formerly known as Facebook. <laughs> Let me say that again. They include corporate actors like Meta, formerly known as Facebook. The metaverse is so much deeper than a Facebook. That was just to get you normalized with the idea of a metaverse. The gaming consoles and everything introducing 3D to you to where you can get inside of the game. That was just to get you comfortable with the idea. All right. It says, let me read that again. They include corporate actors like Meta, formerly known as Facebook, Microsoft, Walmart, and Sony. Notably, the list includes major financial services and banking enterprises such as MasterCard, Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan, and Lloyd's. Revelation 13, right? It says things really take a dark turn when moving down to the state and global governance partners to the World Economic Forum's Metaverse Initiative. Read that one more time. Things really take a dark turn when moving down to the state, whether that state is Alabama, New York, right, California, Texas, Florida, <laughs> right, and global governance partners to the World Economic Forum's Metaverse Initiative. These partners include Interpol, the United Nations Counterterrorism Office, right? The U.S. NIH's or National, well, hold on, let's say NIH's National Human Genome Research Institute, and several additional countries' information and communication ministries. Man, this place is going to get ill as hell in 2023. Right? It says, the WEF looks to Chinese Communist Party as the model nation for proper governance. You know what's going on in China? China got a social credit system that ain't got nothing to do with how you pay your bills. It got everything to do with how you live your life, where you spend your money, where you spend your time, how successful are you. Are you poor or are you rich? Are you anti-government or are you for the government? Are you anti-social or are you social? All right? And you get a credit score attached to that. If your score is low, they publicly shame you. I'm talking about put your face on billboards and then have a negative review beside your name for everybody to see. Your score get too low. You can't go in, the, in and out of every establishment. These are This is fact. And they are saying that the world is about to move to that. It says the CCP's nationwide surveillance regime, though it's great firewall and other components could very well become the standard for metaverse governance. Earlier this month, the World Economic Forum published an article titled Why Need to Regulate Why We Need to Regulate Digital Identity in the Metaverse, revealing that Davos indeed sought a heavy handed top down approach akin to the CCP's measures. All right? Let me see. So, this Klaus Schwab, this is a, a tweet. Um, by H.K. Belvedere, whoever the hell that is, it says, just in Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum, the internet will eventually evolve into the metaverse, which will come to represent the next major computing platform. Right? These people are so far removed from reality, it's scary. 
Ah, he ain't lied. All right, but it says, in May, World Economic Forum founder Klaus Schwab addressed his organization's metaverse work. Schwab reveals a lot about his intentions in his framing of the term, stating uh, what I just read, basically. The metaverse will influence the way people, governments, or slot. The metaverse will influence the way people, governments, companies, and society at large think, work, interact, and communicate for the purpose of collectively addressing issues on the global agenda. Man, they putting it putting it dead in your face. But see, the reason why they able to do so is because they know they ain't going to get no backlash from the majority of people. Because the majority of people are worried about the NBA and the NFL and Major League Baseball and soccer games and Real Housewives and Hip Hop Atlanta. And so forth and so on, and nonsense and nonsense, right? And that's just on our scale. Like globally, it is, it's a form of entertainment that distracts you from what's really going on around the world. Right? It ain't just in the daughter of Babylon; it's everywhere, and they steadily making moves that are extremely dark, extremely dangerous, extremely vile, and extremely wicked. And they banking on you staying stupid, right? So to individuals that are stuck in the dark, man, you need to come on into this light and get your research on before time up. Because when time up is up, you not already fell for the okie doke. You got the technology in you, then downloading software, and you feeling sorry for yourself, and it's too late. All right, because scripture says this, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14. And verse 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and receive his... So like, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Meaning... You cannot repent from that. You have to deal with whatever it is Yahweh bring your way. And we read what he going to bring your way. Fire and brimstone. And they ain't talking about no fictitious no place underneath the ground where you got a red devil with a tail poke, poking you in your ass with a pitchfork. No. It's talking about the missiles coming to tear this place up and making the daughter of Babylon a lake of fire. Then after that fire dies down, it becomes a desert. Right? And if you stuck over here, you will be nothing but dust and smoke. According to 2nd Ezra chapter 13. All right. So at the end of the day, play with the most how you want to. He's showing you what time it is. He's giving you warning. Eventually, that warning going to be up. Right? Let me go to the book of... um. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 it says I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of power that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto power which is your reasonable service All right that's what you're supposed to be doing presenting your body a living sacrifice unto your how about shimmy how was shy but what this devil is going to make you do is present your body a living sacrifice to Hashitan Right? Matter of fact, Hashitan Bahashem Adawam. <laughs> right? The 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 uh, the Satan in the name of Esau. That's really what he wants. And if you give it to him, man, your ass is doomed. You grass. Ain't no pleading, ain't no begging, ain't no Lord, Lord. That's over with. Right? So at the end of the day, man, choose ye this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we're going to serve you how about Shimmy Howard Shai to the best of our abilities and pray for mercy for uh, for um from judgment and for that day, you know. So with that, how about Shimmy Howard Shai watches out. These precepts in this video were edifying. Call her loyal lie, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Herakak, Kodash, Shalom, Yashalom.